This feels a little weird, but I'm back to streaming on Twitch. It's been a couple of years since I dropped this video where I blew up a damn car, which was how I announced that I was leaving Twitch to start streaming on YouTube, which was a big deal for, for me and, and I guess nerds who care about live streaming because I, I had done some cool things on Twitch. I was the most subscribed to live streamer at one point and I had left for a relatively unproven platform, YouTube. And I explained why in one of my first mogul mails ever, a video that kind of started this whole channel, uh, and it basically got clipped into a bunch of dramatic YouTube shorts. I had flipped a coin and heads was Twitch, tails was YouTube, and it had gone with heads. I and the skinny of it is that I felt more appreciated by YouTube than I did by Twitch. They made me feel like a person, they made me feel seen, it felt like our goals were aligned. In Twitch, it felt like I was another cog in the machine. Uh, and it didn't hurt that YouTube was also offering me more money. <laughs> but now the two years is up and I'm going back to Twitch part time. All right, let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. When I went back to YouTube to do the re-signing, I realized that my goals are not to make the most money possible. My goals are not to get the highest average viewership possible. My goal, simply put, is to do really cool events that I think are cool and, and also dope and also have them be seen by the most amount of people the biggest cultural event possible. If I want to pour my heart in, in, into something, I want it to, to be seen by others. I don't even care if it makes money. Don't tell the people that offer in that, but it's true. And I'm capping myself if I'm only streaming these events on YouTube or if I'm only streaming them on Twitch. It'd be a lot better if I streamed them on both. And so that was my proposal to YouTube. Now for daily streams, if I want to play Suica game or Lethal Company or Top Frag and Valorant like I usually do, that will still happen on YouTube. But I am trying to do way more events. How often will these happen? Well, the goal is every couple of months. There's specifics in the contract on what an event is and what I am allowed to co-stream on both Twitch and YouTube. But but the skinny is at, at least every two months, I'm hoping to uh, do an event that'll be co-streamed on both. All right, I'm not even totally uh, signed up for the idea that co-streaming daily streams is good, at, at least for me in the position I'm in. So I'm not really interested in doing that yet. So YouTube still here, YouTube guy doing regular YouTube live streams. Events will be on both. And you might've noticed that it won't be on twitch.tv slash Ludwig, right? That was another stipulation of the contract. It had to be a channel name that didn't make people think I was a full-time Twitch streamer. I didn't tell them I would clickbait this video, but that's why the channel name will be Mogul Moves. And you might be wondering, when is my first Twitch slash YouTube stream? And it's this week. It's actually this Sunday, December 10th, around noon. I'm going to be streaming the Creator Dodgeball World Championship, which I'm really fucking excited about. It features six teams. Each team's a different platform, and we're going to find the best platform, at least the best platform at Dodgeball. So it'll be Team Kick with a bunch of Kick streamers, Team Twitch, Team YouTube, Team Facebook, Team Podcasts. And finally, the sixth team is Team Chess Boxing, because this also coincides with a chess boxing merch drop. Now, it's not happening this year. I, 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 we already gone through that. I already made a video about that. But we still have a bunch of really cool merch that I'm very proud of uh, that, that I need to sell so so we don't um, fire Aiden. Anyway, uh, this is what it looks like. I think it's some of our best stuff. This is a reversible jacket. Wow, cool. Shill moment, Ludwig. Very cool. Ludwig.gg, if you want to get it. It's available right now. You can get it by Christmas. Anyway, that'll be the first day I stream. Now, you might be wondering, has YouTube worked? All right. After this year, are you going to stay with YouTube again? Are you always going to be the YouTube guy? Will you ever go back to Twitch full time? And I looked at the data a little bit because YouTube has finally added live stream data and I have some answers for you. Now, first off, this is my concurrent viewership and my peak viewership over the two years that I've been on YouTube. And you can see my average viewership is just under 17,000. My peak viewership, however, hit 300,000. Uh, I think it was technically like 320 something, but but they, a few numbers got lost in the tabulations. But But still, that is the highest peak viewership I've ever had in my streaming career ever. And I think this next year we can crush it multi-streaming on both and adding them together. The average viewership is a little worse. I'll come clean. My last month on Twitch, I averaged 18,500. I think my last year I, on Twitch, I averaged over 20,000. So, so we're doing in the thousands worse. But I don't really care about that because it's not my goal. My goal isn't to be a average high viewership live stream. I realize that my shelf life is coming up. There'll only be such a, a small period of time where I'm able to relate to people who care about watching live streams in the first place. And then someone younger and funnier and who's able to relate more will come along and beat me out. So I'm not gonna play this game and, and cling on to life. I just wanna do dope shit while I can do dope shit while people care about the dope shit that I do. A uh, Couple things though have gone better. All right, the peak viewership was one of them. But another thing that has done a lot better since moving over to YouTube 
is the views for videos. Uh, the video view average skyrocketed. I think it, I was averaging around half a mil per video before, and now it, it, it is right around a million views per video. Uh, and you can see the weekly video views gained here. Don't, don't, you know, take it with a grain of salt. This also includes YouTube shorts. Um, but, but I, you know, I, I try to do it all. I tried to do it all. Uh, my goal when I went to YouTube was to try as hard as I could to be a multifaceted creator who could do live streams, who could do YouTube shorts, and who could do regular videos and, and, and be the best YouTuber possible. And I'm going to give YouTube another year, but I will also add a caveat here. I'm a little bit concerned about YouTube, all right? YouTube guy here, I have to admit, there are some problems. And those problems in the two years that I've been here haven't been addressed at the speed that I or other live streamers would like. I made this list a while back, but it includes just a few of the problems that exist for live streaming on YouTube that don't necessarily exist on Twitch. One of the glaring ones, you can't even stream longer than 12 hours. If you do, the VOD disappears into the ether. I can't even watch my VODs longer than 12 hours. I have to end the stream, otherwise it is gone. That is a problem. You can't edit VODs that are over six hours. So if you listen to one copywritten thing and the whole VOD gets smoked, you're screwed. That you can't do anything about it. These, these again, are huge, huge issues. And when I first went over to YouTube a couple years ago, I made the company Truffle with the goal of combating these things, of making not just YouTube live streaming, but all live streaming a better experience. And it has worked. Truffle has been great. But I see a clear split, a clear divide. And I'm hoping this next year that what I fear will happen doesn't happen because I want to keep streaming on YouTube until I eventually retire. But my concern is that YouTube doesn't care about live streaming. They care about something else that you'll probably see on the home screen if you open up YouTube right now. YouTube Shorts. Now, you get a, the occasional recommended live stream or maybe it's in your subscriptions box, but for the most part, you'll get videos and if you're on your mobile especially, you'll get a shit ton of shorts. And I think the reason is because YouTube is threatened by TikTok. Like the existence of YouTube is threatened by TikTok. If you look at this, the amount of, of uh, users on TikTok versus YouTube in the US, this was last year, uh, TikTok is gaining rapidly, specifically with younger audiences. And those will be the older audience when time passes, as it always does. And so this has a real chance of killing YouTube as a whole, you know, and that, that's something they're concerned about. What isn't a concern of theirs is the title Twitch has killed YouTube, because that'll never happen. I don't think Twitch is entering the VOD space. I don't think they're trying to compete there. I think they're just chilling in the live stream space, offering their own unique slice of, of uh, content creation online. And so they have almost this like handshake agreement where Twitch is the, uh, the massive um, shareholder. They, they have the, the majority uh, viewership for all live streaming. And YouTube has been floating around just doing their thing. They haven't gone up too much. They haven't gone down too much. Uh, Facebook's on the down and down, kicks nowhere to be seen. And there's no real need to rush into, into being a better product than Twitch or to beating Twitch because Twitch will never kill YouTube, TikTok will. So let's combat that. And then maybe if that works out, we can check out the live streaming spot, maybe. That's how it feels. That's at least what I think based off some conversation with people who are at YouTube. And because of that, I'm worried that in the time that I have as a live streamer, where I have things that people want to hear, I want to talk about, they won't be the platform that people should be on. I'm still the YouTube guy. I'm still waving my red YouTube banner, but these are my concerns. Those are my hopes. And that's why I'm uh, now part streaming on Twitch for, for events specifically, which will happen every couple of months. All right, anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, not just this video, but the past couple of years and any live streams if you have. December 10th, I will see you on Twitch and YouTube uh, and Ludwig.gg if you want to get the merch. All right, see you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Say goodbye to Coots too because she says goodbye as well. All right, goodbye to, to, uh, from both of us.